to your health. To my health. Pass me my drink. I didn't drink my drink. You're not filming this. I am filming this, but I'm using a cool app, so it's Instagrammy. Oh Jesus! What am I like, Amaro? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm not sure about subject matter. Apparently. Shut your Are face. Are you gonna ask questions? Let's get comfortable. <sighs> Adjust myself. So romantic. This is why I love him. You see, he's really, really classy. Oh yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll be serious. This is a serious interview. You can edit this on your own. Okay. No, this is a serious interview <laughs> with the director of Four Play, Bruno <laughs> Collins. Say hi, behind Bruno. Camera, Say hi, camera. Bruno. I go behind the camera. That is Bruno. Bruno Collins at Bruno Lando on Twitter. He is um, my boyfriend, which is clearly his most important job. But he is also going to be the director of Foreplay. Should we ever get a cast and crew and money? Um, yeah, pretty much that. What is it? What has he just said? I just spelled out my. Handle. He's desperately seeking followers. They won't, I have real friends. I don't use them on Twitter. <laughs> I just have fake ones. Yeah. No, what, every, when people meet me in real life, they don't want to know me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so we should start this interview. So, <coughs> I hope we can actually hear this. Um, what was the response to your first video blog? Rapturous, no, um, no, I'm joking. Uh, very good. Um, it's just over 24. I'm going to look really fat because you're filming it from the side. No, I'm joking. Um, no, it was uh, it was really good. Um, it's been just over 24 hours and we've had over 300 views. People on Twitter, I think Bruno's trying to be really artistic. We're zooming around. People on Twitter have been really great. We've had lots of people um, retweet the video and it's really great because it's really scary to start something from scratch, especially something that both myself and Bruno have put a lot of time and energy into. So to get all the support of people is great because it's all oh, it's really hard to start things from scratch. So thank you very much for those who are already following the movie at Foreplay Movie. Apparently, I think it's going to appear here at my fingers if I'm some sort of wizard. Um, so thank you for the people that have followed. That's cool. This is a really high spec. I'm making it look retro. You really don't need to see the weird psyche of our relationship. Okay. Well, I was hoping you'd lead into this one. Okay, no, what I was supposed to say with that question is, how was the response? <laughs> um, the response was really good, but a lot of people did uh, do want to know like what the general synopsis of the film is, um, basically what it's about. In fact, we had a lovely little troll today. It was my first ever experience of internet trolling. Um, who was like, This just sounds like every gay film. You just want to make a porno. It's an excuse for gratuity. And as much as I, I love porn like every other gay guy, like this is not, it's, as I would say to my friend Ben, this is not the film I'm writing. Um, so yes, maybe we should tell you a bit about the plot. I have been accused of making porn before. Bruno does make porn. Don't, don't believe it. If you Google the morning after, you can watch my porn. Yeah, this is a plug. Bruno, um, did an, it's a shameless plug from Bruno. Frog? A shameless plug from Bruno. No more wine. Only, uh, this is like half a glass. You would think I've had the bottle. Um, no, that's a shameless plug, but Bruno's film is amazing. The morning after, you can follow him. And Vimeo, what's the address? Vimeo.com slash the morning after. Bruno Collins. Google Bruno Collins. Don't Google Craig Daniel Adams because all you see is lots of pictures and pants. So what is the plot? Is it just sex? Is this a plot? Thing? No. Um, essentially, the short film we wrote together, well, Bruno wrote the first scene and then I came on board because I'm a pushy little shit. I came on board and we wrote it together as a short film. Originally, it was loosely based in a real life scenario. Ve I say really loosely, Bruno is like cringing behind the camera. He's like, don't do it, Greg. It's very loosely based on a real life scenario, but grossly exaggerated. Obviously things were tweaked for dramatic license, but 
it was kind of based in real life. But then Bruno buggered off on holiday for a week and I had sent out the short to, as I said in the last video, I'd sent the short out to lots of different friends who came back and they were like, yeah, it's great, but it doesn't do anything new and you've got some great characters here, but they're not really going anywhere. So I deconstructed it all. It's set over the night before and the morning for two couples. One couple that are, it's the night before their wedding, Michael and Jay, and Sam and Leo, who are a new young couple. Um, and basically they meet on a night out at a mutual friend's birthday. So you, you, there's lots of flashbacks into that night and things that happened that night. And then it fla the film starts the morning after, everyone wakes up really hungover, um, some in various states of undress. We're thrown into this comedy of, oh my God, what's going on, why are we here? Random guy turns up on the door with flowers. Um, it's just, one of them's dressed in a onesie. Um, just as if like, the ball starts rolling, but what it actually, as I worked more and more on the script, and like went back and fed things in. What the film is really about is about love and trust. It, it, it is the we do question whether or not, like we don't know to begin with whether or not they have had the foursome, and that's not really what's important. It's more about the sexual morality and what it will mean to both the couples and what will happen because of what happened. That makes no sense. I know what I mean. Um, but it deals with a lot of issues as well. Three of the characters, Michael, Jay and Leo, all have parents in the film. Each character's relationship with their parent is very, very different. Okay, so I did start talking about... Are we filming? Yeah, we're filming. Okay, so I did start talking about the plot, but Bruno just had to cut me off because he said I was giving away the whole thing, so no one's going to want to watch the film. Because this is going to be my more concise version of what it's about. But I can't... I can't do it without giving it all away. So what I'm going to do is find the synopsis of what I text because my um, script editor asked me to say what it was about. So here we go. Where did I find it? Right. It's the morning of their wedding day. Michael and Jay are shocked when they wait to find another couple in the house, Leo and Sam, who they met at a party the night before. Everyone is hungover and naked and has no recollection of what happened. Did they or didn't they? And if they did, who did what and who did who? And what does this mean for both the couples and the looming wedding? Dun, dun, dun. That does make it just sound like it's all about sex, but it is also <laughs> about love and trust and family. But like, yeah. Okay, no. Bruno Collins. No. no. What's it about? I suppose it's about like gay relationships. Because they are different from, in my experience, they're different from straight relationships in the way that we relate to sex. Like, our relationship to sex is quite different, I think. We're more, we're children of the sexual revolution, we're more open to it. And so, ideas of monogamy and stuff like that are quite different. I know gay couples who often have <laughs> dalliances. <laughs> dalliances together or apart I mean and the one the relationships that seem to work with that kind of system are the ones that are completely honest about it so they never hide the fact that they hooked up with a guy or they and they they get each other's permission or and so what's the diff what do you think the difference is between how Sam and Leo deal with so this issue in the couples. film and how Michael and Jay deal with it. two couples, one's established, one's not established, one fairly new and it's about whether you feel you can, sh like if that's something you want to include in your relationship, it's right for some people, it's not right for others. It's not just gay people. No. Straight people swing as well. Indeed. So. Does um, the film deal with any other issues that are maybe more universal? It deals with family relationships. It's about love and trust, and it deals with how you deal with your parents. It's not a coming out story. None of our characters are in the closet to their friends or their families, but every family treats you differently. Some are warm and accepting, some aren't so much. What? And it explores both of them. 
of those aspects of family and what it, what the real definition of family is. I know that mine and Bruno's opinion varies really differently in this, so I'm going to ask him because I'm interested to find out what is your opinion on the issue of children that comes up with Jay and Michael. <laughs> Would you think that's important to the film? Because the, I don't think that that's an issue that just affects gay couples. That's why that's one of the it universal is, issues the I really think. Is, the question for model, modern couples, like, do you want kids? Like, it's, it's one of those things like gay marriage is being legalised in this country, finally, which is a great thing. These, this couple is getting married in the traditional sense, in that way, and they're looking at how much of the traditional model of family they want to follow. And I think kids, to them, it's an issue they're not totally sure on. But it's something that I know that I thought about, and like, because a lot of my friends are getting married and getting to the point where they're going to be popping out little brats. So, <laughs> I think we should wrap this interview up, so I'm going to get you to wrap it up. So what should people do? What should people do? People should follow Four Play Movie. This is why I'm. In, this is why I'm in front of the camera. Oh no, we can edit this out though. Um, and what what do we hope the next step is? Or you can you can ask well, me this question. Well, we're hoping to cast. We have people in mind. We have our dream cast, don't we? Um, we can't tell you though. With some interest, so hopefully Meryl Streep, well. clearly. Yeah, obviously. Meryl Streep, Daniel Day Lewis, um, Judy Dench, to name but a few. Yeah. I think they can all play young gay men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>